Oh my gosh. Feeling the burn. And now for this week on upcoming events. Homecoming is tomorrow night after the varsity basketball game. On Monday, the middle school is having a fundraiser at 2.20 p.m. and also from 5.30 to 7, there's a family fun night. On Thursday the 25th, the fourth grade will be presenting their giving projects from 2.30 to 4 p.m. On Friday the 26th, the NHS is having a pancake sale from 7.15 to 7.50 a.m. And finally, on Saturday the 27th, there's an archery tournament at EDS from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. That's all this week on upcoming events. Tune in next week for more. And now for this week's edition of What's Hot, Snowflakes and Missile Fakes. Let's start with the snowflakes. For the past few weeks, the United States experienced a massive cold front covering the Midwest, South, and East Coast with Florida and Texas getting an inch or so of snow. The Northeast has been hit the hardest with some areas dipping into the negative temperatures. And now missile fakes. Last Saturday, Hawaii residents were alerted by a government issue alert on their phones reading, ballistic missile threat inbound to Hawaii. See convenient shelter, this is not a drill. 38 chaotic minutes later, government officials were able to stop the broadcast and five hours later, the governor apologized. Because of the public backlash, officials added a missile defense false alarm option to the menu. Three days later, Japan's public broadcaster sent phone alerts that North Korea had launched missiles and that citizens should uh, take shelter immediately. The broadcaster corrected itself five minutes later and a spokesperson swiftly apologized. And that's it for this week's of What's Hot. Tune in next week for more. Hi, my name is Caroline, pa Caroline and it's time for the lower school news. Clothing is needed in the nurse's office. The nurse's office keeps a small supply of clothing on hand in the event a student unexpectedly needs a change of clothes. We currently need an assortment of youth underwear for boys and girls ranging from size 3T to size 10, 8, 10. We also need a variety of boys' pants sizes 3T to 12 to 14. If you have these items, you would like to donate them, please contact school nurse in advance. The fourth graders giving project fair is Thursday the 25th in the atrium. The fourth graders are using a $10 loan to start their own businesses and sell homemade goods. All the money raised benefits local charities. That's all for the low school news this week. This week on Middle School News. The Middle School Geography Bee happened this past Thursday. The contestants were Hamza Ramawi, Carter Deppi, Ellie Kissel, Landon Muller, Colleen Meacham, Carl Ramawi, Greta Griffin, Nicholas Ante, Caroline Palmer, and Tristan Toss. Congratulations and good job to all the contestants. Join us next week for more Middle School News. And now for this week's edition of High School News. Homecoming will take place this Saturday. Homecoming festivities will occur in between games. There will also be a dance following the games from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. And that's it for this week's edition of High School News. And now for information on two new staff transitions. On Wednesday, Jamie Johnston started working as the coordinator for the Center of Academic Success to replace Alyssa Van Biver maternity leave. Jamie is a very experienced educator with a background in special education, including a master's degree. She has worked in a variety of schools and tutoring settings. Also, Amanda Boltmeyer has been appointed as the Interim Director of Marketing and Communications. Amanda has been a terrific addition to the day school staff as an assistant director, and we look forward to her contributions in this new leadership role. The National Honor Society will have a pancake sale in the Commons on Friday, January 26th from 7.15 to 7.50 a.m. 
Pancakes will be three for one dollar, and juice will be only fifty cents. Bring the family before school to support NHS and enjoy breakfast together. Everglades Day School is hosting its first ever archery tournament on Saturday, January 27th. Join us for this fun, community-wide event and help us make history. Over 2,000 people are expected throughout the day. Many shifts of volunteers are needed. We are seeking help from parents in all school divisions, even if you don't have a student on the archery team. Go to the EDS website and sign up for a shift. Share the link with your friends and encourage them to sign up too. This week in sports, the Saturday EDS High School has a home basketball game against Union County. The junior varsity game starts at 6 p.m. Saturday is also homecoming. The homecoming facilities will take place between JV and varsity games, and there is a dance in the commons right after the game. Our middle school basketball teams have a busy schedule this weekend, full of games, Visit the day school website for times and locations. Tune in next week for more sports. And now it's time for this week's icy edition of In the Halls where we put EDS students on the hot seat. What is it called when a snowman has a temper tantrum? <laughs> I don't know. Like snowmageddon, some, some snow pun related. Um, uh, meltdown? What kind of ball does not bounce? A snowball. A snowball? A snowball. How does a penguin build a house? I don't know. With the help of an Eskimo. Um, let's do with all the other penguins. What do you call a snowman in the summer? Puddle. A puddle? A puddle. Olaf. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Well, we just got done filming the 20th edition. So what are we supposed to do now? Go get ready for the game. 